I suppose as a whole, it was a pretty good time to, to be in the industry anyway, because skiing was going under such a massive boom in the 80s. Yeah, uh, it, it was crazy. Obviously, snowboarding was in. Snowboarding was in, albeit it was with stiff bindings and stiff boots. Um, but that was kind of that was kicking off. Um, but yeah, it, we, we're talking like uh, people like Glenn Plake were at the forefront of every ski yeah. movie. It was a uh, Scott Schmidt and Mike Hat Hattrick, was it? Th them kind of guys were the people that we were watching on the TV. Um, Obviously, I think maybe around then or a little bit later, we had Eddie the Eagle to inspire us all. Um, there, was, there was lots going on, you know. We were still skiing on the old skinny long skis. Like I'm, I'm a, a, a small. I, I, I say 170. I'm about 169, but I always stick an extra one on. I'm about 169, and I was skiing 203 centimeter slalom skis, which I don't even know how I managed to turn them now, as I ski a 175 kind of short radius thing. Um, so yeah, it was it was a great time, and, and and the other significant thing was the amount of snow was entirely different. There was so much more snow. Um, village level where I lived was about eight hundred and seventy, and there wasn't a day where the village wasn't full of snow. From the moment we got there, I think on about the eighteenth of December to leaving on the twenty third of April, we never had a time where we thought, oh, there won't be any snow or there won't be enough snow. There were no snow cannons. There was there were no snow cannons on the mountain. And I, it's funny because I went back to the mountain um, two years ago and the only thing that had changed on that mountain was the inclusion of snow cannons. All of the lifts were in the same place. All the lifts were the old lifts. They are getting a, a new gondola system in, in, in the next couple of years. Um, but nothing had changed other than snow cannons. Mm. You know? I mean, it, that I mean, 